So this lesson is on the serve. And uh, most important thing on the serve is just to get it in. We're talking about doubles. If, if this was a singles lesson, we would be wanting to serve hard, deep, top spin. Um, it is nice to have a variety of serves. Learn how to hit some short ones, some lob serves. But whatever you do, just make sure you can get your serve into the court. One of the easiest ways to practice your serve is just to get a big bucket of, of balls and just get your serves in. Just practice, and if you want to, practice a variety of serves. Not a bad thing to practice a backhand serve. Um, if you've ever heard of the service yips, and I've even had them playing with a hard dura ball in cold weather, where it's hard to get your forehand serve in, it's nice to be able to go to a backhand serve if you have that issue. But practice a variety too. Practice some lob serves, practice short serves. Whatever you do, get the serve in the court. There's nothing wrong with just copying your fundamentals that you have on a ground stroke to get your serve in. So we have some top players here. We have Bonnie Williams, Curtis Campbell, Tony Tolinar, and Randy Bythew. We're going to watch them on their serves. You have a famous serve. Everybody loves your, your she's got one of the best singles, deep topspin serves. See how it's deep and it's yeah. coming at them. Did you, get oh, to do, yeah. did you get to do big tournaments? Oh, yeah. U.S. Open? Yeah, Borg, Elizabeth yeah. Fassi, all yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> to summarize the serve, make sure you're getting it into the court. I don't care if you if your serve looks like this. I don't care. Get that serve into the court. Get it into play um, so you don't lose your serve. Um, it's very easy, though, just to copy your nice ground stroke. That is a legal serve. People think, well, it's sidearm. It's not legal. No, it has an upward motion. So do whatever you can to get your serve in. And it's always good to learn how to throw in a lob serve. That can throw people off. And to also hit some short serves. But whatever you do, get your serve in. So everybody does need to know what constitutes a legal serve. Um, the rules are a little bit complicated. This is one of the areas uh, I don't agree with on, on rules. First 35 years that I played pickleball, all we had to worry about was when we served, the ball was below the uh, waist. Well, now it's belly button. That's OK. But we have two other important rules. Right now, we can't have any part of the paddle above our wrist when we serve. So right now, this is actually an illegal serve because the paddle is above my wrist. I disagree with that, but that is a rule. So make sure all the paddle is below your wrist joint at impact. The other rule that you have to follow is you have to have an upward motion. The only thing is that's really hard to determine, too, because it only has to be one degree upward. So if I'm serving this way, this would be legal. This would be illegal. Very hard to see when the ball is going fast. Uh, of course, where our feet, both feet have to be behind the line, and we have to have at least one foot um, uh, on the surface of the, the ground behind the baseline. So the three things to remember are contact be, um, below the belly button, a slight upward motion, and no part of the paddle can be above our wrist. So this would be a legal serve. I'm just copying my forehand when I serve this. This would be a good time for me to talk about what I think the rule should be. And I think the rule should be, be, just to make it simple for the referee, is we drop the ball and then hit it off the bounce. I can hold this ball up as high as I want. No matter how tall I am, it's never going to bounce as high as my waist. So we would never have to worry about contact being above the waist. And just get rid of every, all the other parts of the rules. Who cares if they have a slice serve? So I could just drop it and hit it like that. It's actually much easier for beginners to learn that way anyway. I know we have a lot of people that have learned, spent so much time learning how to do this, and they don't want to change. I understand that people hate change. But this makes so much more sense. All a ref would have to look at is, is it a legal drop or not? I could serve backhand. I could even have a two-handed backhand if that rule were allowed. So that's my suggestion.